Section 3.5, Transformations. Transformations are when we take a parent graph and then alter it by reflecting, stretching, or shifting that parent graph. Those are the three main types of transformations that we'll look at. Well, what will happen is we'll be given a parent graph f of x. And for each parent graph, we can either mess with the output or the input. For example, if we have a table of values. Well, let's make this a little different. We can either mess with our x values or our y values. For example, we could change the signs on all of our inputs or we could change the signs on all of our outputs. We could also maybe multiply all of our output or all of our inputs by 2. Or we could add 5 to all of our outputs. point is, whatever we do, we will either do to x or y. And that will give us a new function, g of x. I'll show you how to do that. And for these videos, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just one parent function. And that parent function, so please make sure you write this one down, is going to be f of x equals x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. And I know that we haven't talked about how to sketch this by hand, but you should know enough to realize that this graph will have roots at x equals negative 3, x equals positive 1, and x equals 4, giving us the points negative 3, 0, 1, 0, and 4, 0. And if you are to plug this graph into your calculator or into GeoGebra or Wolfram Alpha, you will see that we do actually get that graph that has roots at negative 3, 0, 1, 0, and 4, 0. Okay, let's go back to our notes. The first type of transformation we're going to talk about is a reflection. To reflect across the x-axis, what we want to do is we want to change the signs on all of our outputs. So we make all of our positive outputs negative and all our negative outputs positive. This way that this looks in an equation is that we put a negative in front of the entire function. So our new function g of x equals negative x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. Graphically, We'll see this as well. And that's the red function that's now on your screen. So the red function is g of x, and the black function is h of x. And we see that the red function, it's as if we took the black function and spun it around its roots. So we flipped it over the x-axis, creating this reflection. OK, we can also. reflect across the y-axis. And the way we do that is to make all of our inputs negative. So we switch the sign on our inputs. And the way it appears in the equation is that in front of every x, we now put a negative sign. Or if there was already a negative sign, we would make that positive. So there's our new function g of x. And graphically, we can see that in the blue graph that you have on your screen now. So it's as if we spun the black function around its vertical intercept, which flipped it over the y-axis. That is reflection. And the next video, we'll move on to the next transformation, which is stretching.